Are you ready to dive into the best ways to maximize the First Baptist Church app? Well, hang tight, and we're going to cover some of the best tips and exciting updates for the First Baptist Church app. Hi, everyone. My name is Taryn DeFevers, and I'm part of the communications team here at First Baptist Church Jacksonville. And I have an exciting update and exciting tips for you for the First Baptist Church app. The first update I want to tell you about is our Campus tab. The Campus tab is a whole new feature we are launching in 2024. This tab, it lets you filter between Nocatee Campus or the downtown campus. Some of you have been wondering, how do I find my campus's content? How do I find my midweek sessions from downtown? Or how do I find my sermons from Pastor Spencer at Nocatee? Well, this feature is gonna let you drill down into your own campus. Let me show you how it works. When you open your app, you can look at the bottom of the app and the second tab is called Campus. Click here and you will see a filter between Downtown and Nocatee. Those are gonna be the two buckets you can choose from to choose your campus content. Now we have tons of great content in here for you to look at. One of the things you're going to see in here is sermons. You can find sermons from Pastor Heath and the Downtown Campus Pastors or from Pastor Spencer at Nocatee and the Nocatee Campus Pastors. Below that, you can see midweek content for both campuses to be filtered. You'll see live stream services for your own campus. And then we have an events tab that's gonna let you see the events for your specific campus. Another piece we've added is kids and students content for both campuses. This is going to be a growing list of resources to build the faith of kids and students who are part of our church. This is really exciting and I want you to explore this area of the app and really dig in and find the content that you will find helpful for you and your family. The second tab you're gonna to wanna to explore is the Media tab. The Media tab has church-wide content in it that you'll find helpful for you and your family. This tab has podcasts and blogs. It has worship concerts. It even has conferences that we've covered in the past free of charge for you. The last piece is called First Stories. First Stories is a way that we try to get the stories and testimonies of church members in front of you so that you can be inspired and encouraged in your own faith. So you want to make sure that you check those out. The last item I want to draw your attention to is the Bible and the Bible reading plan. You'll find this at the bottom right corner with an icon that looks like a Bible in the text Bible. Click on that and then you'll see a phrase called plan with a calendar icon beside it. If you click on that calendar in 2024, starting January 1st, you're gonna have access to our 2024 Bible reading plan. Whole Church is going through this plan and we want you to be able to jump in and join us on that journey. We're gonna be reading alongside our Sunday morning sermon text, our Sunday school workbooks and text. It's gonna be a great time to dive deeper into God's word together and discuss it and prepare your hearts for Sunday. Don't miss out on that great, great resource. We are excited about these features in the app. And we really do think they will be a blessing to you as you use them. So take a look around, explore the campus, check out our vast amount of resources in the media tab, and open up the Bible tab and read along with us this year as we study God's word together. May God bless you and strengthen you as you use this app and engage with God's word.